guys, it's Brittany and today's video is all about Milton School in Illinois that is supposedly haunted by a young girl by the name of Mary who was murdered in the basement of the school. This school was built in 1904 and remained open for 80 years. So one day school ended, you know, the teachers were leaving, the students were rushing out the door because they just wanted, you know, to get home. I mean, who doesn't want to leave school? <laughs> but not Mary. She wanted to stay because she was always a hard worker and there was some, some work that she needed to finish, so she stayed. Mary was so into her work that she totally forgot about the time. She lost track of time and she noticed that it started to get really dark outside and she knew that if she didn't come home on time, her mom mother would be so worried and would be looking for her so she gathered up her things and she started to leave. She was kind of creeped out because it was completely silent inside the school. It was dark. So as she was walking down the hallway she went down the stairs near the exit and she heard a really weird strange sound. The next day Mary's dead body was found in the gymnasium of the school. She was all bloody, she was covered in bruises, her clothes, they were torn apart. So of course the school, they called the police and the police came and began their investigation. One thing that they noticed that was extremely eerie was Mary wrote a message in her own pool of blood on the floor. That message read, J-A-N. The police had no idea what J-A-N meant, but they thought that maybe Mary was spelling out the name of her killer. So the police were going through every single kid's name at the school, you know, that was like Janet, Janice, anything with Jan in it. But they found nothing. Absolutely nothing. A few days then passed when people started to notice that the school janitor wasn't at school. Police started to get very suspicious and they were after this janitor. So the police went to his house and they saw that he actually lives with his elderly mother and he told the police that the night of the murder he was homesick with the flu. But the police, they weren't really buying it. They saw that he had all these scratch marks on his cheek. They asked him, how did you get those scratches on your cheek? And he said that he was scratched by his cat. Mm-hmm. The police did not buy it, not one bit. For the next few weeks, the police really had their eye on this janitor. I mean, they followed him everywhere. So people started kind of putting two and two together, how the police were following the janitor around, how Mary wrote in her own blood, J-A-N. So a lot of people started thinking that the janitor really did murder Mary. And they were absolutely terrified of this man. The teachers, they were all talking about this janitor. The janitor saw people talking about him. He heard people talking about him. He saw everybody staring at him all the time. Shortly after, the body of the janitor was found hanging from the ceiling in the boiler room. And there was a note pinned to his chest that said, I guess I did it. Was this the confession from the janitor saying that he actually killed Mary? Or was he an innocent man and couldn't take all these people constantly talking about him, constantly accusing him of murdering Mary, so he just, you know, said that he did it. Years after the murder, this story was passed around to everybody and people started hearing weird sounds like footsteps and just really unexplained sounds and, you know, just weird stuff happening at the school. Years later, the school was then closed down and turned into an office building. People started seeing shadowy figures, objects would go missing, there would be footsteps, just some really weird stuff. One person saw the ghostly apparition of a young girl at the bottom of the staircase. After seeing this apparition of the little girl, there was a new apparition that started to appear of a man. So people in the office believe that man was the janitor, the ghost of the janitor still trapped in that building. So let me know what you guys think. Do you believe the janitor really did kill Mary? And if he did kill Mary, what was the reason for it? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, you rock my world in the song lyrics of Michael Jackson. Hashtag team pretty 44, hashtag brotherins, hey. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.